I'm Tori. I work here at Camp High Hopes. And today we are going to be doing some shaving cream marble foam art. You can look at some of our examples that we have had campers make here at camp. And that's the gist of what we're doing today. So, things you'll need. Um, shaving cream, this is a must, and it's the foam one. Foam shaving cream. Ask your dad, he probably has some. Um, we got paint and, and or food colorings. Basically, we need the color to put on our shaving cream. And then, we're gonna be using some paper plates. You can use a regular plate, most likely, as long as that's okay with the people in charge of your house, or a tin, but something to hold your shaving cream. And then paper, we have some construction paper, and then just some plain notebook paper. So if you went to school, you got notebook paper. So let's just get started here. And the most important, besides all this, stirring devices. Right here we just have some popsicle sticks, long skinny ones. You can use silverware, plasticware, a straw, whatever is appropriate for you to use in your household and that you have permission to use. Make sure you have permission to use all of these items. Okay, now we'll get started with the foaming shaving cream. I'm just gonna, I'll wait. This shaving cream, you gotta hold vertical. And you just want a nice layer on the plate, just like at the bottom. Doesn't have to be too thick. Thin layer is fine. And you can smooth it out if you want. You don't have to. I'm gonna go straight on, and I'm gonna use food coloring for this first one. I have both the liquid food coloring and some gel food coloring. Probably use a little bit of both because I have more colors in gel. Um, let's use, make like a pretty sunset color with some like reds, pinks, and like yellow. Got red here. And you just want drops. So if you have droppers, that is what's gonna work the best. That was a lot. We'll have a lot of red in this one. No big deal. Add some pink, because everyone loves pink. Yep, just two drops for today. And then some yellow. And now, the stirring device. And instead of stirring, we're just going to like swirl so that the colors get all spread out in a little mix. There's a lot of different swirl techniques you can use. You can use a circle. Right now I'm just kind of doing big lines until I feel that it looks pretty. And I think it does. Set your stirring stick down. And I'm just gonna use some notebook paper for the next thing. Plain notebook paper, we all should have this. And now, we're just gonna take the paper, we're gonna press it down onto the top of our shaving cream. And even if you look now, you can see the colors coming through the paper, because it's a nice thin paper. Set it down. And here's the real technique. Depending on how you pull it off, will give you different effects. So I'm gonna kinda do a like pull forward. And it kinda did the smearing effect. You can definitely see it on the color, what, I, what happened. <laughs> okay, and then there are two options. You could scrape the shaving, scrape off the shaving foam right now, or you can set it off to the side and let it dry. I'm gonna set this one off to the side and let it dry. And we still got some color here. You can swirl this up. Again, you can take this masterpiece you have here, put on another piece of paper. It's endless, the possibilities are yours. I'm gonna do some swirls with my already dirty stirring stick. And I'm doing like circles to make it look like waves this time. Something different. Again, we just 
press it down. And then I'm gonna try to pull it straight up this time. A little hard because my paper plate's light. Beautiful artwork. See, that's what it looks like through that side too. And we'll set this one off to the side. And then we'll do one more with just this pretty design that we made with our last one. With just It just kind of naturally made itself. Ideally, if you don't have a nice messy table like this, you put down newspaper so that way you don't get your parents' table all a mess. Because they'll get upset with that. Oh no, my paper ripped. That's okay, it's art. Art is abstract. But for, if you're just using paint or any, a different plate, like the steps are all the same, using construction paper, all the same steps, you add your shaving cream to your container that's gonna hold it, you add your color, you do some swirling to the color, and then you add the paper on top, you press, you pull, and you have art. You scrape it off, it'll look beautiful, or you let it dry. If you let it dry, it'll eventually look like this foamy dry stuff. And you can keep it like that. Or, again, you can scrape it off and reveal what is underneath. today. Uh, we are looking forward to still seeing every camper here this summer. Registration is still open. Feel free to come on our website and register for summer, weekends, Saturday camps, all that fun stuff. We'll be doing stuff like this here at camp. And be sure to, if you do this at home, drop, take a picture, send it in, comment in the comments, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you.